this might really be the end of GTA RP. This is not an exaggerated statement. Players are not enjoying the new policies that are enforced by Rockstar Games onto the GTA RP platform. Now, before we get started, if you don't know what 5M is, 5M or GTA RP was made to be a modified version of GTA 5, made for players with PCs to play with mods on a game mode that uses the Grand Theft Auto 5 map. The platform was created two years after GTA 5 was released in 2013 by Rockstar Games. In this modified gameplay, you could play with real life vehicles, real life clothing brands, and even client side and server side mods that enable you to modify the GTA 5 map. As you can see, this version of GTA 5 made Rockstar Games look like amateurs to the development of the original GTA 5 map. As players like both versions, players catered towards 5M rather than GTA 5 and GTA 5 Online which made Rockstar Games a bit irritated, considering 5M was just a spinoff of GTA 5 with better features. All right, enough of that. You might be wondering why this might be the end of 5M. Well, recently, back in August of 2023, Rockstar purchased a platform from CFX, which is the platform that operates 5M. They purchased this platform for an undisclosed fee. This allowed them to change the platform guidelines and policies using this power they recently ordered all servers to stop using real life vehicle brands real life clothing brands and any mods that have any real brands incorporated in them no one else is saying this but in my opinion this has completely ruined the platform without the realistic brands in the game it's hard to incorporate immersed rp experiences with extended amounts of realism I don't want to push the agenda or idea that 5M will be completely dead or the servers will die due to the removal of the real life brands in the game, but I cannot prevent the inevitable. Players have been using real life brands since the release of GTA RP, so the sudden change is not really something players want to get used to, because we've been used to it since we began to play. It's kind of like Call of Duty removing guns from the game so everyone begins to fight instead of shoot. Seems odd, right? Yeah, I wouldn't put it past these players to give up on 5M. It's very possible. 5M was already a platform that was made up of many niches and different types of servers that catered to many different types of people. Therefore, it was already a platform that didn't have a stable player base of just one type of person, like road players or vehicle racers or regular people that wanted more freedom on the GTA maps, like Free Roam and RSM. It was a platform of many types of people. This means without the essential assets like real life brands, there could be a serious plummet in players on the platform, no doubt. As I was doing some research, I came across a couple of comments that supports the idea of player plummet. In some YouTube comments, I read someone say, Honestly, it sucked, especially for someone like me who just got a PC about three months ago. I mainly played RSM, so it was based around cars, car meets, and drifting. Another guy went to say, this has caused a major downfall in 5M. Myself and a lot of friends will no longer play 5M due to not having a lot of things that can immerse you in the RP. This is just a few testimonies that show how the players are feeling about the decision. While it's very possible to RP without the real life brands, it's never the same without the feeling of uniqueness that the brand adds. With everything being said, I, Jay Wilson TV, am coming to you, my fans, my viewers, and my friends, informing you that I might have to retire from the world of GTA RP unless there's a change in the platform, which is not likely considering Rockstar's role in all of this. I'm looking to switch up my content to new games and expand the fan base of this channel. I've done so much for the RP community and I am ready to move on. As we approach the end of the video, I want you to do one thing for me. Comment below a few games that you'd be interested in seeing on this channel. And while you're commenting, please share your feelings on what I shared in this video. Thank you. I appreciate you. See you soon.